The primary way that we detect problems on the spacecraft is we make it smart enough to detect them on its own. So the spacecraft has a system called fault protection. It's constantly looking for um, how the spacecraft hardware is and software is operating. Is everything going per plan? Do we have anything that's not operating as expected? So if we're spinning and the spin rate gets out of control, a fault protection is looking at the spin rate and determining, OK, this level of spin is OK. And if it gets past this number, I'm not happy. And so if it gets to a number that it's not happy, it will take action. It actually will take care of it itself. And then after it's reconfigured or whatever, then it'll send down information and let us know that that's what's happened. Or if it, if it can't solve a problem or the problem is too large, it will put it in safe mode and basically say, OK, I'm just going to wait for the ground to help me because I'm Confused. Nothing should cause a, a further problem for the spacecraft. We shut down the instruments, we shut down other aspects of the spacecraft, and we make it kind of operate very simply at a very low data transfer level so that when the Earth picks it up, it's very apparent to us right away that it's had a problem, and we can then start fixing it right away. The spacecraft would continue to operate after it experiences a particular fault. One particular fault will not um, result in a total failure of the spacecraft. Our little spacecraft these days are very complicated and, and they're very smart. They know how to take care of themselves.